see a great show tonight. You're telling me. This is going to be the third time I've seen it. Well, I've seen every picture Betty Davis has made. I wouldn't miss this for anything. You know, I like this picture more each time I see it. Everybody's raving about it. Here it comes, that scene I was telling you about. You shouldn't have come and I shouldn't have seen you. I wonder what you think of me, really. You know what I think of you. I'm young. Don't you think I like to drink and dance and go to parties like other people do? Every time I see you, I feel like you're... That's not true. Anyway, I'm tired of being your... your haven. She's the only actress on the screen today who can play a part like this. And isn't George Brent wonderful? You know, ever since Dark Victory and The Old Maid, I've been dying to see them together again. And Mary Astor, what a revelation she is. One of the most attractive things about you to me has always been that you understood women. Now you're going to try and understand me, aren't you? You see, she's in love with George Brent, too. And she's not going to let Betty stand in the way. And when those two get together, the sparks really fly. He never loved you as he loved me. You were second choice. You caught him on the rebound. Why did you lie to him? Oh, Sandra, you're not going to tell Pete, are you? You see, you're afraid. You don't dare tell him how you've lied to him. We'll go away together somewhere secretly. You say no one else knows, no one else will know. I'll make all the arrangements take care of everything. I'm going to get out of here! No, you can't keep me here! I won't stay! I won't stay! I thought that you'd never come back, that, that perhaps you'd marry and stay away all for years. Perhaps you'd die. I hoped you would. How do you like it? Oh, it's marvelous. And you haven't seen anything yet. The real surprises are coming. 